I have a, quite a strong interest in World War II propaganda cartoons, so I was really, really looking forward to Confusions of a Nazi Spy. That's also bearing in mind that I'm a really big Porky Pig fan. And honestly, I watched this three times back to back because the first time I didn't like it. And I thought, well, how can't I like this? Because I enjoy, maybe enjoy is not the right word, but I'm fascinated by propaganda cartoons and I love Porky Pig. Honestly, I, I, I gave it three chances and I did not like it. That's not to say there's nothing that works well, but generally it's one of the weakest propaganda cartoons. Well, in terms of entertainment, it's one of the weakest, but maybe it is effective propaganda and I'll pick that apart in a moment. This is a 1943 Warner Brothers cartoon directed by Norm McCabe, written by Don Christensen and stars, of course, Mel Blanc as the voice of Porky Pig and various other characters. And Porky Pig has this bloodhound, this dog, and they're both going to find this Nazi spy. And this Nazi spy is actually a lynx. And I don't think I've ever seen a lynx animated before, so I have to say I'm really pleased with the, the style of it, the way it looks. It's got really distinguished features, and it actually looks pretty great. And Porky as well, he's got a kind of typical policeman type outfit on. Uh, he looks great. The Bloodhound's face looks you know, brilliantly droopy, and it just, you know, the animation quality is really good. Well, the character, the, the animation of the characters is really good, but I feel like the environment, the setting, the landscape they're interacting with, I just felt was really weak. It didn't offer much. It wasn't visually very appealing. So that's one thing that I didn't like about it. The backgrounds are just not adequate for me. The other thing is I feel like this Lynx character, I'm going to try and avoid saying the word nasty as much as possible so I don't get demonetized, but this Lynx character is, I don't know, part of me thought the character was interesting. Part of me thought it was just kind of boring, but in terms of propaganda, representing that kind of individual, yeah, it, it could definitely make a person hate them if they didn't already. It definitely is good fuel for the fire, if you were. So I feel like the propaganda aspect probably would have worked quite well. You know, 1943, by this point, people have probably got a pretty good understanding of, um, other, from other pro pro propaganda cartoons, what the attitudes were like. But if not, and you watch this, yeah, you'd, you'd hate the, the characters that the Lynx is representing. Characters definitely isn't the right word there. But you'd, you'd hate the Nazis. I'm going to just say it. Um, so I think the propaganda aspect would work very well. But in terms of an actual cartoon with a, a decent narrative and some good animation, the animation, the characters, very good. The backgrounds, not so much. The narrative, I don't know. I like the concept of Porky Pig and his dog tracking down a, a Nazi spy. But I just feel like the execution of the narrative wasn't that engaging. It wasn't very good. I didn't really enjoy it. It's definitely one of the weakest in terms of being engaging. And of course, with propaganda, it has to be engaging. That's the entire point. You engage the viewer and, or the reader or whatever. You engage the audience to make them believe what you're saying about the opposition. But if it's not engaging, that's not going to work very well. And I personally didn't find it engaging. Maybe at the time it would have been more engaging. But put it this way, I've seen a lot of propaganda cartoons. And I know what I like. And I love Porky Pig. And I know what I like with Porky Pig. And honestly, this just completely did not deliver at all.